Hi, this is Melanie, and I'm going to tell you about a really cool program called Zotero. So let's take a look. Z-O-T-E-R-O. -E if I put it in the search engine, it gives me a download link, and there are a couple things that I need to download here. One is the Zotero 4.0 for Windows. You just click on it, and it will start your download, and then you click on that to set it up. And the other is the... Um, browser extension for whatever browser you like to use between these three. I use Chrome, so I hit that button and it's going to give me an add to Chrome. You click that and it uh, pops right up for you. The other thing that you need to do at the Zotero site is register for an account and give yourself a username and password. It will send you a confirmation and you can get that all set up. Okay, here's the cool thing that Zotero does. If you go to Google Scholar, uh, I'm going to start there and show you what it does here. And I'm going to search for an article that I might want to cite. So it gives me my list of articles here. I decide that I want to cite, for instance, this article. So I'm going to click on it. And it gives me this little document bar right up here in the corner that says Save to Zotero. This is the magic of this program. So if I go open that Zotero standalone program, it looks like this. And uh, I usually create a new folder for each new article I'm working on. So I'm going to just create a folder for you that's a sample folder. It will give me an empty folder here. And I'm going to make sure that this folder is highlighted because this is the one that I'm working on right now. I'm saying I'm working on a paper about child welfare um, burnout or intention to stay. So, so here's my paper over here. And I am going to uh, click on this document up here in this corner and hit Save to Zotero. And you see it's saved in my sample folder. So if I go back here to Zotero, here it is in my sample folder. You see that it downloaded the uh, title of the paper and all the authors and even an abstract and everything that I'm going to need in order to cite this article. I, I need lots of articles for my paper, so I'm going to download a few more. Here's another one that looks good. Uh, and this is actually a clip of a book. I know that because this little link up here in the corner is a picture of a book. So I'm going to click on that and you see again it's saving to my sample folder and I can be sure that that worked by going back here and seeing that it's saved. I want to do a quick look just to make sure that everything's working okay here. And I see that it gave me a couple authors and a couple editors and I want to kind of take a look to make sure that that matches what this looks like here. And I do see that here are the editors just like it says and here are the authors just like it says. So it looks like everything's in place here. I'm going to go back and just do a couple more so that we have a sampling in our sample folder. I'm going to click on one here. So let's say I start writing my paper about child welfare workforce issues and there may also be some articles that aren't peer-reviewed articles that I want to cite. Maybe I want to cite something from, oh let's see, here's a page at Hunter College. Now this doesn't give me any quick link up here at the corner, um, but say I want to cite this resource guide here. I'm going to pull my Zotero program back up and I'm going to hit this little plus sign. This is a little new item button and uh, this looks like a document so I'm just going to manually transfer information over into Zotero in this case uh, because I don't have that quick link. Um, and it, you do this the same way, you just enter the everything by hand. So this is 10 years, I'm not going to do it all now, but I'm going to look for the author information and add that in here. And if there's more than one uh, author here, I might hit this little plus sign to add another author and so on. So I'm just going to enter all the information just like I would any other citation. 
Say I also want to cite my textbook, I can go into Amazon, find the textbook in here. Let's see. And say this is my textbook, I can click on this and I can click this right up here in the corner, save to Zotero. It's going to do the same thing for me, it's saving this to my sample folder. So you can see the book is listed right in here, it knew it was a book, so it has a little book right next to it. So I'm starting to collect some articles about my topic, right? So, so that's pretty nifty. Um, there are some other sites, some newspaper sites, let's see, LA Times, let's see if this will work. If I click on an article here, uh, depending on the newspaper, the type of site, it may pull up a little link to help you cite this article. Um, things like newspapers are a little more hit and miss as far as how good of a job they do pulling in the authors and things like that. So. So in this case, it actually did a good job of pulling in this media. I can see over here in Zotero that it pulled in the article. It's got the author's name right. It's got the title right. So everything's looking pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm checking these out and I know from, from using APA that a title of a journal article is not supposed to be all caps. So I'm going to right click that, hit transform text and hit sentence case. So I still have to do a little bit of checking to make sure this is right. Okay, here's where the magic happens. When I go into my Word doc, let's see here. I'm going to open up Word. When you install Zotero, you want to make sure that Word is closed because it adds a little add-in to Word and that shows up over here. So I'm just going to start a document like I normally would and I'm going to say just something simple. Burnout is a problem. Well, how do I know burnout is a problem? Because other people have said so, right? So I'm going to go to add-ins and hit my little Zotero link over here. The first time that you open Zotero, it's going to ask you what kind of reference you want to use. There's a whole list here. I want to use American Psychological 6th Edition, so I click on that. Uh, I want to use a classic view here, and here's my sample folder with my articles in it. Here's an article that says that burnout is a problem. I click that and it pops it right in for me, okay? So, um, authors agree, and I want to prove that authors agree, so I'm going to add another article. There's a way to set this default to classic view, so you don't have to keep doing that drag down. But I'm going to say, uh, this time I want to say that multiple authors agree, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, move over a couple authors who agree that this is a problem. And I'm going to hit OK. And it uh, puts the authors in and uh, puts them in alphabetical order the way the APA wants you to do. Uh, so all the information is in there. Um, now I need a reference page because I've cited all my articles and I want Zotero to build me a reference page. So I'm going to come over here and insert bibliography and it's going to find everything that I cited and um, and it, it creates the bibliography for you. So this is pretty cool, right? I'm going to do a quick scan to make sure that the APA looks right and I do see a few errors. I see in this reference I have capitalized words that shouldn't be capitalized. I'm missing a capitalization of A here. So I can fix that there, but the better way to do it is to go back to Zotero and fix it in Zotero. So I, I'm, I'm going to go to my references and see again that this one has capitalizations where there shouldn't be. So I'm going to change that to title case. But uh, the first word after the the colon is supposed to be capitalized, so I'm going to fix that right there. Um, 
it, it looked like this uh, document, oh, this is the one that I just kind of entered as a sample and didn't enter everything. So, so that's why there's some missing information in this reference page here. So I fixed those things over there, and I want Zotero to, uh, to update my reference page to reflect my fixes. So I'm just going to hit this refresh button. And you see that it refreshed it right here. It put that capitalization back for me. Um, I have some other things to fix. But you get the idea. It builds your reference page. Then I just need to add a page break here, right? Input references in and center that. Zotero doesn't replace your understanding of APA. You still have to understand it so that you can check for mistakes, right? But it does give you sort of a nice head start in preparing to reference appropriately and gives you an easy way to get your references in one page. And if you like these references, you're using the same topic for some other classes, you can move your references from folder to folder. There are a lot of uh, cool things that you can do in Zotero. There are some advanced settings, like you can set up some group libraries if you're writing a paper with somebody else, a group project. And you can explore how to do that at the Zotero website. And you can tag articles, for instance, if I wanted to uh, tag specific articles uh, to say, like, uh, use this for intro section or something, then I can come in later and search everything that has the word intro in it, and it would pull up all my articles related to that tag and I could just get in there and cite those quick. It automatically downloads um, some themes related to uh, the, the target tags in the articles that you're using. So lots of cool things that you can do with this program. If you need a hand figuring any of it out, feel free to send me an email. These add-ins only show up uh, once you've downloaded the Zotero standalone. When you're using Zotero, if you want all this information stored in a cloud so you can use it from computer to computer, you need to go into the settings and or the preferences, I'm sorry, and go to the sync button and put in your username and password that you got from the site and it will sync all your information and let you use it between computers, save it to your cloud so that you can go to a different computer and still have access to your library. So lots of good stuff here. Enjoy!